if we continue business as usual, I think it's going to be a much tougher problem to tackle. One of the things that keeps me going and really focused on this issue is that if we continue as business as usual, the people in Africa and South Asia and Southeast Asia who don't have access to electricity and who don't have access to clean water and sanitation is actually going to grow. And uh, that to me is really the challenge before us is how do we arrest that gap and how do we make sure that we can connect more people. Uh, in terms of uh, are there solutions, I truly believe they are. So one is that a lot of renewable energy sources are becoming closer and closer to grid parity in terms of costs because of technology changes, better implementation. Um, I also think that there has to be a balance because you need a diversified energy pool to remain energy reliant and secure in your energy supply. And also, I think there's more awareness in terms of the good examples of countries that have managed to make that transition. And so for the developing countries, there's more examples that you can follow and avoid some of the mistakes that have been made in the past. We work very much with the governments, starting from an energy plan. And one of the things that we are doing through our initiative called Thirsty Energy is to also encourage governments to look at the implications on water and other natural resources of those energy plans. So one is just raising awareness. The second, we see ourselves really as a global practice, being able to share experiences which sometimes happen in very small pockets uh, where you see a good example where policy and investments have come together very nicely. And so we see that as part of our role because I don't think it's anymore the day and age where you can go instruct or tell governments this is what you have to do. You have to kind of ground up, raise the awareness so that governments themselves will um, incorporate those uh, improvements, those changes, that more comprehensive way of looking at things. And again, we see many countries that are really working on that path and that framework.